Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimet Self Research Company and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a frequency distribution in Excel. So as you can see here, I have uh, two ways to explain in this video. First of all is to use pivot table. So first you want to make a pivot table um, using your data of course and then you go for um, choosing value field settings in one column and group settings in uh, another column to have both the segments and frequency values and then you go for pivot chart in order to have your distribution a frequency distribution chart and this uh, the second way is to use data analysis i will show you how to enable it if you have not and then um, you you will make some bins values. I will explain it, and then you go to data analysis and click on histogram. So let's start. Here I have some precipitation values. Of course, these are values for each month, so it's the uh, precipitation sum of each month. So uh, what I will do here, I want to have a frequency distribution. So I will make some segments and I want, for example, from 200 to 300, I want to have uh, the frequency of the events happened uh, between 200 and 300 values. I want the frequency of events happened less than 200 or more than, for example, 900 and so uh, more uh, what I will do for the first way to use pivot table I will select uh, uh, my cell here go to insert tab and select and pivot table here you can see that my range is um, correctly selected and it's will it will be made in new worksheet which is right I will click OK and my other sheet you can see that uh, my pivot table is made so what I will do here is to check this precipitation and as you can see in values field it's already sum of precipitation which is right I don't want to change it and then I will uh, pull this precipitation to the rows also I know that these are the same values uh, totally the same but I have to do something with them I want one column for the category and the other column for frequency so what I will do here I click any cell in the right of the uh, you know the right column and right click and go for value field settings here I don't want some I want count so I want count of precipitation I want count of each event in the left column okay click OK and you can see each of them are unique so I don't have any repeated um, events in one in each of them so I click in the left column also I right click and click group so here it has some automatic settings i don't want them maybe you want them i don't want and i want it to be start at let's say 200 and end at yeah 100 uh, 1100 is okay and i want it to skip by uh 200 so let's say click okay and you can see i have uh, five groups of numbers which are uh, shown here uh, the next thing I will do is to click on pivot chart in analyze uh, tab which is opened here I go for pivot chart and here uh, you can select clustered columns um, yeah the clustered column is all right click OK and you can see that your 
frequency distribution charts uh, is made. So that's the first approach and let's go to the second one. Here in my precipitation data, back to the precipitation data, I want to use analyze um, um, data analysis tool. So this data analysis tool is what um, what which is appeared in analysis segment in data tab. So if you don't see it, it's because you haven't enabled it. So I go to files, then I go to more options. And here in add ins, you can see analysis tool pack tool pack. So you will select it and click on go. And you can see mine is already checked and you check it if it's unchecked you check it and click ok and it will be shown here so um, as you select uh, this option here it has some you know some um, a list of um, tools analysis tools I want the histogram so before that I should have some bins numbers so I will make bins column and this bins are the upper values of uh, each segment so if you uh, have seen here I have some row labels if you just copy them and take them here so for each of them what will be the bins the bins here is the upper value so for example 399 I wanted for uh, to be 400 okay so 600 and 800 and uh 1000 and 1200 so but don't make a mistake this pins means that this will be less than 400 less than or um, equal to 400 this will be between 400 and 1 to 600 this will be um, 600 and 1 to 800 and so on and so forth so that's it and what I will do is to go to data analysis and click on histogram and click OK. So here you can see my input range is already selected and it's correct. My bin range is this one. So then I don't want labels. I want it to be in new worksheet and I want it to be chart output. So I click OK and you can see here I have three numbers which are less than or equal to 400 so let's check this equal thing so I will have uh, 400 here to see how this will change okay what was it it was three so here if I add 400 and go for less or equal to so if I again choose histogram and um, actually extend this selection and don't change the others and click OK you can see that one is added so I had three before and I have four in here so that was just a double check to show you how is this really working so I guess that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the Microsoft channel uh, I will see you in the next video and bye and actually um, before I'm saying goodbye uh, I have another video in frequency
a function in Excel, uh, maybe that will be useful too. Um, thank you and goodbye.